What's going on, SEW family? It's your boy, David Fury, stronger every week. As the thumbnail stated, what is the best program for you? So, what you have to take into the whole scheme of things is what type of environment you're training in. If you, it's the gym that you're in, the equipment you have access to, is the two main things. Drive and motivation always play a role. Mental toughness plays a role because getting into strength and fitness and doing it and sticking with it and not quitting when things get hard or you're not mentally stable enough to commit or to get under heavy weight, them are all play factors. But if you're just starting out and you want to know what program's right for you, I'm going to give you a couple options, and I'm going to explain which ones will work for you in your current situations and which ones will not work for you in your current situations. Also, in the description of this video, I'm going to leave a link to a method that I invented, uh, the SEW Beginner Strength Program. And it details everything exactly how you should do it. And you do not need any fancy equipment. If you haven't looked at the how to get a bigger, thicker, wider back video, please check that out. That shows you how to get a thick, wide back with minimal equipment. So that will help you out as well. Now, getting into the topic at hand. <clears throat> a lot of people starting off their, their strength training journey, I'll start to Google and you'll find millions of programs. And the one a lot of people gravitate towards because they see a lot of people doing it is West Side Barbell's program. Now, the reason I say the, one of the most important things in picking a program besides it fitting into your schedule and being right for you, the main thing is what kind of equipment you have access to. Now, if you go with the West Side Barbell Beginner Program, not conjunct that'll be another program for another day, but their West Side Book of Methods, which you can purchase on their website. It's an ebook and it describes all your days, what you have to do, your sets, your reps, your percentages, the basic West Side template. You would need a box, you would need boards, you would need bands, you would need chains, you would need a couple specialty bars. If you do not have access to that in your gym, you still can do that program. You can just free squat for speed days and then free squat on heavy days without accommodating resistance. The same with bench, the same with deadlifts. You can do everything with one bar. But if you do not have chains, bands, box, boards, someplace to floor press, will you get 100% benefit out of that program? No, you will not. It'll be fun. You'll enjoy doing it. It'll be hard. But that's not how the program was designed. Now, a gentleman by the name of Jim Wendler, has a program called the 531 Method. That is a very good program, and all you need for that is a bench, a barbell, a basic gym. I mean, even if you went to a gym, and I'm not going to say any names for copyright, but there's a gym that has a lot of purple equipment. Um, they don't have straight bars. They don't have benches, they have a Smith machine. You could actually do Jim Wendler's 531 program inside the Smith machine. So that would be an option for you. And you will get strong off it. And because the Smith machine don't allow you to actually build bad habits in the squat bench or deadlift, it might be beneficial beyond a point that you would even imagine. Now, let's say you go to a gym <clears throat> that has a regular bench bar and a bench that has some type of power rack or power setup where it has um, pins, safety pins, where you can set heights and it has a place for you to deadlift and it's deadlifting is welcome in that gym. 
you could do, but it doesn't have a box and chains of bands. That Jim Wendler's program would be great for that. Uh, you could Google a normal five by five program. Any program that's gonna that's gonna get you started and keep you going up, and that's structured. That would be a program that I would lean towards if you don't have the special things needed to do a West Side program. But what have I come to realize um, in training for 20 years and competing is that people tend to get bored quick or they'll find something that they like right away. But when stuff tends to get hard, and I'm not picking on anybody, because after a while going to the gym, it's hard to do. You might love to do it, but when it's your work day's over or if you're off and work and it's time to get up and go to the gym, you it sometimes it's it's hard to go. Even with pre workouts and other stuff, you just don't wanna go. But in the back of your head, you have to force yourself to go. So what I did was I came up with the SEW beginning strength training method. And you can do that at home, any gym in America. You don't need chains and bands and boxes. That's how I train, but I wrote something for be, for beginners, even to intermediate, even to advanced lifters can do this program because it's based off a of percentage. It's three week wave. I don't believe in a deload week. So you get a week off to recover. Then you come back in and you start with your new maxes. So just follow that down the line. And also write down goals for yourself and be realistic about your goals. Don't fall into trends that are not going to be along, um, around long. There is a couple pro programs out there that I see people using that work. Some people squat, bench, and deadlift three times a week. So they basically do a full meet three times a week, or they do it once a week, and then they don't come back into the gym. And you can see them shoot their strength up, but then it plateaus. It's always going to plateau because you're not doing anything different. Now you're going to say, hey, Dave, you just said you just wrote a program that is basic, and how do I get through a plateau? I'm going to tell you how. Inside the program that I have written and that you'll have access to 100% free, <clears throat> it takes the best out of every program that I've ever written for somebody or that I've ever tried because I experimented on myself and I guinea pig myself, right? <clears throat> this is what I suggest anybody to do on any program, but especially mine. So you do not plateau, you get stronger, and then you can continue to blossom and grow and get stronger every week, hence the motto. Is <clears throat> try and find out what your, your truest one rep max is in bench squat and deadlift then minus 10 to 15% off that. You'll always evolve because you'll run three weeks and you'll get your new maxes, then you'll minus 10%. And then you'll run your program again and you'll always continue to evolve. Now, a lot of people might say, but that's just stalling your progress. Well, you have to remember, it is a marathon. This is not a sprint or a race. A lot of people will say do X, Y, and Z, but try and add one to two pounds every week. That doesn't work. If you just do the math, that doesn't work. If you if you try and add two, two and a half pounds to your bench every single week, you do the math on that, you're not going to add a couple thousand pounds on your bench in a year, let alone have a thousand pound bench raw. Um, it just, it's, the, the math doesn't add up. That's, that's 
a huge myth, and that's a trend, and a lot of people fall into that, and unfortunately, they get stuck, and then they get frustrated, and it's it's a mess. So don't fall into trends. Don't fall into, you know, don't be doing a program, whatever program you're doing, and it's going very successful, but someone else is making better gains than you. That's just the way their their body's wired. That's just the, they might be, like, they might have a, you might have a killer mindset, they might have a crazy killer mindset, and nothing's going to stop them at all. Don't be discouraged because people that you're watching and are commenting on your videos are stronger than you. Like I said, it's a marathon, not a race. I've recently witnessed a person. I witnessed two people in my lifetime, personally, that I feel abandon their goals because of that same thing. They weren't mentally strong enough to see their goal out. Well, one person, one guy was a person that I used to train with a real long time ago, and his goal was to hit a 600 bench press. His best bench press was 585. He could have hit 600. He just abandoned it because he kept getting uh, discouraged and didn't find a way to get it strong enough to get to 600 and just quit. I can't do that. Uh, that's not made up in my genetics. And that's something you have to instill in your mind. And that's a program your mind has to go through and the mental toughness your mind has to go through to get there. Don't get discouraged and give up. And recently, the same exact scenario was a person that I trained with for six months and trained them. For whatever reason, they just checked out. Um, I'm not mad at anybody. I mean, if if you can't handle it, speak to the person you're training with and come up with a different way. I addressed this issue a week before this person checked out in the how to not be afraid of heavy weight because this person was the one that asked me that question. I talked to a couple people, put a video out about it, restructured the plan. They just checked out mentally. So you don't want to check out mentally because someone is going farther than you. If your training partner is beating you every week, that's the environment you want to be in. If you got someone, if you're training with four people and you can beat three of them, but one just smashing you every week, and it's coming in kind of somber, and it's getting through the workout, then after the workout, talks to you for 20 minutes. They're not being rude to you. They're there putting in work. You should take that as a, a challenge. Training partners should try and one-up each other. You would do a little smack talk, have some fun. But getting back to the thing, the best program for you is one that's going to keep you going upward. You're going to stall a little bit. Then... You can either message me or whoever's writing your program or Google, if you don't have someone writing your program, Google, you know, my deadlift and bench is okay, but my, my squat is stalled out. And then throw a little something in there. So when it comes to finding what's the right program for you, it comes down to two things in my opinion. Um, your gym and the equipment you have access to. That's how you'll pick what's right for you. Every program is going to be hard. Um, it's going to be easy at first. Then it's going to get hard. It's going to get frustrating. Don't mentally check out. If you have any questions, comments, whatever, hit me below. I'll answer whatever. Negative or not, I don't care. I'll answer whatever. But look at your surroundings and what you have access to. And that's how you pick your program. Every program's hard once you get past showing up every day. Every program's hard once you start to get strong. You know, there's there's a saying, you know, the one downfall of getting strong is everything starts to get heavier. And that's when it becomes hard. When you're 
brand new. Everything's your bench is flying, your squats flying, your deaths, deadlifts flying, your confidence is at one million. And as soon as you hit that wall, bang, you're like, oh, like, what do I do now? I'll tell you what you do in that in that situation. You videotape yourself. You look at where you're missing. If it's bench, if it's squat, if you're pulling, you look where you're missing. Wherever that part of your body you're missing in, if you're if you're going to bench and you fires off your chest and it stops about a three board away or it stops about a half arm length away from you locking out, you need tricep work. So now you're going to have to double your tricep work into in the position of where you press. And you're going to have to find a tricep dominant exercise that takes your chest out of it. If you're watching yourself squat and you see you're, you're, you're slowly coming out of the hole, but you're blasting to the top. But when the weight gets to a new PR or a prescribed weight that you should be hitting, you can't get out of that hole. You're going to need no, more hip work, glute work, hamstring work, and lower back work. So you record yourself and find your weakness yourself. Learn to do this yourself and address that. In your deadlift, if you 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 get two modes in deadlift, you rip it right off the floor, it goes to lockout. You're slow off the floor, and you have a trouble locking it out. That's easy fix. Both of them, to, to eliminate both of them and hold it onto the bar, do tons of grip work anyway for all your lifts. Do have a day for grip work and just crush your back, hamstrings, glutes, and spine erectors. That, that's it. But when it comes down to actually picking a program, and sticking with that program, pick it, stick with it for a year. Don't switch anything up in that program except what you need to make you stronger. But stick with it. Don't mentally check out. If you're training, if you've got training partners and they're talking smack, don't let it get to you. Just put it in your head, put it in your memory bank and say, okay, okay, like you're beating me now. You know, in your head, like smile and say, yeah, 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 whatever, you know. You know, let it fire you up a little bit. Get in there. Give it your all. But you're still going to get beat. But just mentally put that in the bank. And uh, I guarantee you, if, if you just keep going forward, pretty soon, your training partners are going to be like, oh, someone learn how to lift. And they'll, they'll shut up. But in all seriousness, find a program that's, cohesive with the environment that you're in. If you're in a home gym, there's plenty of programs out there. I also, in this video, I'm going to link my Facebook account that's Stronger Every Week. And I put in there things that will help you overcome uh, plateaus. I got training advice. I got training templates. I got everything on, on the Facebook side as well. So remember, have fun. Remember the motto, stronger every single week, whether it's mentally, physically, emotionally, just become a stronger person. A little bit every week. I'm going to take off. I'm going to go do some squatting. I got some more content coming out. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. And we'd love to see everybody's comments down below. Peace out.